My friends, imagine standing at the base of a towering mountain, its peak hidden by the clouds. It's a sight that fills us with awe and perhaps a sense of intimidation. This mountain, much like the challenges we face in life, seems insurmountable. But in the midst of this, I bring to you a message of unyielding strength and courage. Be strong and courageous. God got you. If you believe that God can make a difference in your life today, let us stand together in faith. I will pray a fervent prayer with you in the mighty name of Jesus. So watch until the end and open your hearts to receive the blessings of this prayer. In the heart of the Bible, we find these comforting words in Joshua 1 verse 9. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and of good courage. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. This verse is more than a gentle encouragement. It's a divine mandate. God doesn't just suggest bravery. He commands it. He knows the mountains we face and reassures us of his unwavering presence. This command to be strong and courageous is not a call to muster our own strength, but an invitation to rely on God's might. When we face mountains of uncertainty, valleys of despair, or the shadows of doubt, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But remember, the same God who commanded Joshua to be strong is speaking to us today. He doesn't change. His power and His promises remain steadfast. In facing our mountains, let's recognize that strength and courage are not about the absence of fear. Rather, they are about moving forward despite the fear. It's about acknowledging our human limitations and leaning into God's limitless power. For in our weakness, His strength is made perfect, as 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9 reminds us. My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Imagine how our perspective changes when we view our challenges through the lens of God's promise. The mountain may still be high, the journey tough, but we are not walking alone. God's presence is a guarantee, not just a possibility. He walks with us, guides us, and carries us through the hardest paths. My friends, as we journey through life, let's hold on to this truth. Our courage doesn't come from our own strength. It comes from above. It's a divine courage, rooted in the knowledge that God is with us. He's the architect of our path, the guide on our journey, and the destination of our trek. Today, I invite you to embrace this divine courage. Let's be strong, not in our own might, but in the Lord's. Let's be courageous, not because we have all the answers, but because we trust in the one who does. Let us walk with confidence, knowing that in every step, God is with us, strengthening us and leading us to greater heights. As we conclude, I urge you to join me in a powerful prayer, a prayer that will anchor us in God's strength and courage. Let's come before Him with open hearts, ready to receive His mighty power an unshakable peace, for in His presence every mountain shrinks, every fear dissipates, and every heart finds its courage. Let us pray with conviction, with faith, and with the assurance that indeed God got you. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. You may also listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Now, to all those within the sound of my voice, let us go to the Lord in prayer. 
I want you to pray this prayer with me so that you can have all the blessings of this prayer. You may also listen to this prayer daily as you build your faith and come in agreement. Let us pray to our gracious and loving God. Heavenly Father, I come before you in awe of your majesty and power. Your greatness is beyond comprehension, and your glory fills the heavens and the earth. Your wisdom is beyond measure. Your power sustains all life, and your love envelopes us in every moment. I praise you, Lord, for you are the source of all strength and courage. You are the rock on which I stand, the fortress that shelters me and the shield that protects me. Your name is a strong tower, and in you I find refuge and safety. Thank you, Lord, for your endless blessings and unfailing love. Your mercies are new every morning, and your grace is sufficient for all my needs. I am deeply grateful for the gift of life, the joy of salvation, and the peace that comes from knowing you. Lord, I acknowledge my shortcomings and ask for your forgiveness. Help me to also extend forgiveness to others, following the example of your boundless grace. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke every form of attack from the enemy. I stand against fear, doubt, and discouragement, declaring victory in your name. I bind the forces of darkness that seek to hinder my walk with you. In Jesus' name, I claim healing for my body, mind, and spirit. I speak against any form of sickness, depression, and anxiety, believing in your healing power. Lord, I pray for your divine protection over my life. Shield me from harm and danger and keep me safe in your loving arms. Surround me with your angels and let your presence be a constant guard around me. Gracious Lord, I ask for your guidance and wisdom in every decision I make. Lead me in paths of righteousness and help me to discern your will in all situations. Merciful Father, I pray for strength and courage to face each day with confidence. In the face of life's challenges, let me be reminded of your faithfulness. Help me to stand firm in faith knowing that you are with me always. I ask for your peace to fill my heart, a peace that surpasses all understanding. Light my path and lead me in the paths of righteousness. Lord, as I say this prayer, together with everyone listening, I am grateful for every heart that is humbled before you right now. We come in agreement as we pray for each other knowing that you are in our midst as you promised. We stand united in faith, lifting each other up in prayer and believing in the power of your Holy Spirit. I pray for my loved ones, asking that you bless them with the same strength and courage you give to me. May your grace and mercy follow them all the days of their lives, protect them, guide them, and provide for their every need. Let your love be evident in their lives, drawing them closer to you. For those listening, Lord, may they also find encouragement, strength, courage, and hope in you. We claim victory over every trial and challenge. We declare healing in our bodies and minds in the mighty name of Jesus. May your protection be upon us, and may your Spirit guide us in all our ways. For yours is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Thank you, Lord, for hearing and answering my prayer. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray, Amen. If you were blessed by this prayer, type the word Amen in the comments section below. 
I declare that all the blessings of this prayer are now upon you in the name of Jesus. Remember, you can help us to reach more persons and spread the gospel. You can do this by sharing the video with a friend or family member and by clicking the like button. Also remember to subscribe to our channel for more videos that will bless your heart and uplift your spirit. We appreciate all your support. You're blessed to be a blessing. Please, feel free to leave your prayer request in the comments section so that we can present them before God for your blessings and victory and so that other believers on the YouTube platform and all over the world can stand in agreement with you and start praying for you right now. Stand in faith with us while we pray. To God be all the glory. May the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.